Well, I meant to pause it. I meant to put it all in the same uh, video, but I accidentally hit stop. But that's what the greenhouses look like at night. That's the second greenhouse over there. This is the first one. Now, the first one only has a metal halide or actually what's called an agro sunlight where it's got double filaments and it. it has a metal halide and a high pressure sodium and this still has peppers going in here put a handle on the inside to help me shut it when I'm inside we even have a little tomato plant that started itself it it did look better earlier um, but it got top heavy and so it fell over and we just took off that piece that fell over uh, we just picked a bunch of peppers today but as you can see the peppers are looking really good by the way that's not straw on the ground that's actually alfalfa and that's mixing really well with the soil it helps uh, hold moisture and uh, and uh, there's lots of nitrogen and there's about nine other elements in, in um, alfalfa that plants love to munch on a little bit different heater in here and as you can see we still have some work to do on this greenhouse we still need to put the bubble wrap up uh, we got all this work done last week and we still need to put a shelf right there and just get everything tidied up and I will be switching over to that uh, LED light in here as well so, uh, but for now we're just using the metal or using the, um, the grow light, the halide and the high pressure sodium. But yeah, these things are looking really good. We got peppers growing on here. Like I said, I just picked a bunch of peppers today, picked a bunch of lemon thyme today. It's pretty amazing. It's January 5th and we're picking tropical fruit off a of plant on January 5th. So... And as you can see, there's uh, these have really gotten stronger. They got new growth on them, right there, all over. Actually, up here at the top, they've really, they've really changed. It did take some time to get these greenhouses to stay at the right temperature and just to figure out a feeding program for them. And pretty much, it's just like summer. You know, once a week I foil or spray them. And this was this particular plant right here is a gypsy pepper plant and it was like almost all yellow you know and it's it's really made a comeback really really made a comeback so you know this first year was just to see what could be done how long it could be done how much money it's going to take to keep these warm and and whatnot and that's actually why i ended up insulating the north wall uh because that just helps with uh heat getting out. We don't want the heat to get out, obviously. But yeah, we just picked like five green peppers, and I mean stuffed green pepper size. Just came out off of this plant and this plant right here. Let's see, we've still got uh, lots of rellenos. That's what I call them anyway. They're a New Mexico heirloom chili. And they're not too hot. And then there's some more gypsy. I basically bought two of each last year. Planted these at the end of April. So here it is January 5th. And these are still going uh, after, what's that, nine months. Now about eight months. So these have been going for about eight months now. A lot of new growth down here. I'm not sure if that's going to amount to a whole heck of a lot, but it's just really nice to see where things are going to go, you know. All right, that's it. And of course, this section on both greenhouses, that mess, that's that's just about to get remedied and tidied up and tied in and everything, so it just looks really nice and. We're also going to get a uh, waterproof container to put all the cords into that can sit somewhere on here. I might even have to put a shelf in somewhere around here, but it will be done. All right. Thank you. Enjoy.